Imagine a country without its veins and arteries, without the roads that connect its heart to its limbs. In the mid 20th century, that was the reality of Central Australia. But one man, Leonard Beadle, took to the task of creating an intricate network of roads spanning over 6,000 kilometres through the isolated desert areas. This remarkable feat not only opened up some 2.5 million square kilometres of the Australian outback, but also etched Bedell's name in the annals of the country's history. Born on the 21st of April in the year 1923, in West Pennant Hills, New South Wales, Leonard Bedell wore many hats throughout his life. A surveyor, road builder, bushman, artist and author, he was often hailed as the last true Australian explorer. Perhaps the most notable of Leonard's creations is the Gun Barrel Highway. Named after the Gun Barrel Road construction party, which he assembled, Leonard strived to make the road as straight as a gun barrel. Often alone in his Land Rover, he would plough through raw scrub, using a theodolite to observe the sun or stars for latitude and longitude calculations. Once he had decided the line of the road, a bulldozer would follow, cutting a raw track through the spinifex and mulga scrub to form a basic level track, which was then graded using a standard road grader. The construction of the Gun Barrel Highway was no small feat. Starting at Victory Downs Homestead, located 316 kilometers south of Alice Springs, it pushed west to the Rawlinson Ranges, skirting south of the Gibson Desert via the mission at Warburton to connect to an existing road at Carnegie Station. The total distance was roughly 1,400 kilometres. Leonard's stories of the building of this road, filled with near starvation, numerous mechanical breakdowns, countless punctures and other mishaps, all endured under the relentless desert heat, are captured in his book, Too Long in the Bush. Leonard Bedell didn't just leave behind a legacy of roads. He marked astrofixes along his routes with aluminium plates stamped with latitude, longitude and other information. Many of these have been taken as souvenirs and there is now a program underway to replace them with replicas. His legacy is also embedded in many standard Australian roadmaps of central desert areas, showing such landmarks as Len Bedell's tree and Len Bedell's burnt out truck. Mount Bedell in Western Australia, named after him by the Surveyor General of Western Australia in 1958, stands as a testament to his contributions. On May 12, 1995, Leonard Bedell breathed his last. His ashes were placed at the site of the original survey peg to mark the centre line of the range. In the year 2000, they were relocated to the Woomera Cemetery to allow his family and friends easier access. Leonard Bedell, the man who connected the isolated heart of Australia to its limbs, left behind a legacy that continues to shape the country his roads, his stories, his spirit of exploration, they all stand as a testament to a remarkable life lived in service of his country. And as we travel through the veins and arteries of the Australian outback, we remember the man who made it all possible, the last true Australian explorer, Leonard Bedell.